Hey guys, welcome to my new course basics of bash scripting. This course is going to be free for all so that anyone can enroll in this course. In this course, we are only going to discuss about basics, commands and terminology of bash scripting. So what is a bash scripting? Bash scripting is a text file that contains specific sets of commands that are executed in a sequence. So it is actually used to simplify specific repetitive tasks in Windows operating system. So just note that we are only going to deal with Windows platform here. We don't require actually many prerequisites to start with the bash scripting. We just need a code editor so you can actually use Visual Studio Code or Notepad++ or a simple notepad will also work. And we just need that code editor to write some code and save in a bat file and one more thing that we required is a cmd.exe that is nothing but a command prompt and that is actually available for all windows client and server operating system and there are various or you can say bash script has a file extension called .bat or .cmd so here we are going to save all the file in .bat command or .bat files and then we are calling that file on using cmd.exe to execute our scripts. In this course, we are only going to discuss about basic command of the bash scripting. So you can understand this basic command and then you can use that to create a large number of scripts. So here we are going to deal with echo command that is nothing but giving a print output on the console we will deal with the variable how to create the variable and how to pass the variable value uh, in a further scripting we will also use how to use comment section which is a very important part of writing a script we are also going to deal with some environment variable and string concatenation that is nothing but just adding a two string together we are also going to deal with some mathematical expression we will use uh, or we will see how to take the input from the end user in our script. We are also going to deal with the command argument. So you will have a better understanding how to use a particular command and pass the argument. We are also going to deal with some scripting terminology that is nothing but function, local scope, if else statement, for loop and error level. You are going to use this to build an actual bash scripting. And in the end, we are also going to look for the log files and how to generate a log file that will contain our particular command codes or the command output. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Actually, we don't require uh, many prerequisites to run the bash script because you are going to run the bash script on command prompt window so cmd is by default available for almost all windows client and server operating system so you don't require to you don't need to install any other or third party software over here for now i'm just using windows 10 operating system and i will use cmd to execute bash scripts and here i'm using a visual studio core to edit bash scripts file so in this case if you don't want to use visual studio code you can use your not normal notepad or notepad plus plus or there are many uh, tools are available to edit bash scripts so you can use that if you are if you want to use visual studio code then just uh, go ahead uh, to this code.visualstudio.com and download your visual studio for windows and once you install the visual studio then you need to install uh, one more extension so just click on this extension icon and search for batch and select this first extension uh, rich batch and install this extension so this will help you to edit your batch scripts and once you have this extension then you can directly go ahead to file and create new file and start writing your batch scripting so in this video we'll see how we can display a particular message on the console so that can be string or integer anything so if you want to uh, display something on the console you can use echo command okay and after that you can type the message so in this case i'm just typing hello world let me save this and i'm running that file over here 
and you can see it's actually displaying that particular message okay you can do the same thing on console you can type echo and then your message and it will it will display that message on the console the same thing you can also apply for strings so if you are if you want to display some kind of number type echo and then type that particular number and if i run that file then you can see it's actually displaying that message and the number so whatever that you are you are type, typing after the echo it will display that so you actually don't need to use these double quotes you can actually type something like this uh, without double quotes so you can directly type hello world and if i save this and run then it will display that hello world okay even if you can if you want to type some number after that you can type that number and if you run this then it will display that particular string and number both so here you can you, you can actually see that when i am just executing that command let it's actually displaying me the all the lines one by one okay but suppose let's say that i don't want to display this uh, this complete command i just want to display a particular output so in that case on the top of the file you can type at the rate echo and then off and if i save this file let me clear the screen and if i type echo dot bat then you can see it's actually just displaying me this particular output of that command line so it's not displaying me the whole command so this is you are actually going to use a lot in your batch scripting because you don't want to execute each and every line which is uh, written in your script you just want to display the output or some kind of process then in that case you can just uh, use echo off to uh, off this particular uh, command okay so this is how you can use this echo command to display a message on your console hey guys in this video we are going to see about the use of add symbol in bash scripting so let me write some command so i'm just using echo command and then i'm displaying some message called this is example okay so this is nothing but our string after that i'm using one more command called let's take an example of vol to display the volume and after that i'm using one more command called version okay so i'm saving this file and now if i'm calling this file on using my cmd then you can actually see it's displaying that particular output so echo command is displaying that output then vol volume command is displaying that output uh, it's the but a c windows and the serial number and the version command is also displaying the output but at the same time it's actually displaying this displaying me this particular prompt so each and every uh, command is executing with this particular prompt and then the actual command and then it's actually displaying me the output okay but this is not kind of helpful if you are creating a large or a big script you don't want to display each and every command on the console that is not a convenient way so you can use add symbol before each and every command okay so i'm just using add symbol before echo add symbol before this vol and add symbol before vr so let me clear this i'm saving this file and now if i call this particular file then you can see it's actually displaying me the output so this is the output of echo this is the output of vol and this is the output of version command so that add symbol is actually preventing that particular prompt so it's not displaying me this c batch script every time uh, before executing the output so this is kind of helpful if you are writing a script you can actually use dot add add symbol uh, before each and every command to just prevent that particular prompt but this this is not uh, quite helpful if you are creating a very large a uh, line of scripts because you need to time this add symbol in each and every command so in that case uh, we will see in the next video how we can use echo off command 
and we'll use this particular add symbol to uh, turn off echo for each and every command or prevent this particular prompt by executing on the console. Hey guys, in this video we are going to see about the variables in bash script. So in bash scripting, if you want to define any kind of variable, you have to start with set and then give the variable name. So you can give any, any variable name and for an example, I'm just giving variable name called var, okay, and then equal to sign and then you can define a particular string or an integer. Even you can uh, just uh, use a command let. So let's take an example that I'm just using uh, Rahul over here as a variable name, okay. And now I want to display that particular variable. I just want to display what is inside that variable. So if we, if I use this, then it will give me an error that var is not recognized as an internal or external command line. Because what it is doing over here is it just uh, taking this particular name and it just interpreting that as a command. So it's trying to execute that as a command in this console. And this is not a command, this is a variable. So in this case, if you want to display what is inside this variable or if you want to just uh, written down the variable or execute the variable, then you have to use a percentage sign, then name of your variable and again the percentage sign. Okay. And if I use this, then it will try to execute whatever is written inside this variable as a command. So right now here you can see it's actually showing Rahul is not recognized as an internal or external commands. Okay. So what is trying to say, what is trying to doing here is it's trying to interpret this Rahul and it's trying to interpret that as a command and it's trying to execute that over the console. So this is not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to display this uh, particular value inside this variable. So in that case, you can use echo and after that, Person sign, then var, nothing but your variable name, and then person sign again. And if I use that, then it's showing me the actual uh, value which is returned inside that variable. So in this case, if if you want to store any kind of commandlet uh, or any kind of command inside this variable, you can do that, and you can directly call that variable. So for an example, I'm just using set hyphen uh, my command equal to and I'm using dir okay and now if I call this variable using percent side my command and it's actually executing this dir as a command and dir is actually command this is a directory command so it's actually displaying uh, all the directory from this particular all the files from this particular directory okay so this is how you can use the variable and in a scripting, if you want to use this kind of variable, so let's take an example that you are just creating a script. So first thing that you have to do is use echo of, okay. And then let's take an example that you want to store some kind of file name inside a variable. So I'm just defining set and then I'm using variable called file name. So this is nothing but my variable name and then equal to, and I'm storing that file name or, uh, for an example called test.txt okay this is nothing but my file name and then i'm just i just want to display that file name so i'm just using echo and then i'm using uh, the file name is and after this i i will not use file name because if i use file name then it's actually display me uh, it will it will actually execute this complete string and it will uh, show me that on the console. So let me save this. And if I use variable dot bat, then it's actually displaying something like this. The file name is file name, but I don't want to display file name word over here. Instead of that, I want to display what is stored inside this particular variable. So in that case, I will use percent sign in the start and the percent sign uh, on the last. Okay. So this will actually uh, display me this particular file name test.txt. So if I run this again, so it's showing me the file name is test.txt. 
So if you want to call that variable and if you want to display the data which is stored inside that variable, you have to use percent sign uh, on the start and the end of that particular variable name. And you can actually call, uh, you can actually just write any variable name that you want. You have to just use equal to sign and then define uh, whatever you want to display. So you can just uh, use string over here or integer over here. That is fine. You want, you can actually use command let inside this and then you can just display that particular command line okay so let's take an example of command line here that is i'm just using dir and in echo what i want to do is uh, your current directory directory files are and after that i'm just using percent file name okay and if i save this and if i run this again so now here you can actually see that is actually displaying me the complete message and i have written dir and i want to execute that as a command i don't want to execute that as a string so here you can see that it's actually executing that message as a string dir so here what i can do that instead of writing this over here i will i will use this on the next line and there I will call this particular variable so I will use file name over here and let me save this and if I run this again then you can see on the top it's actually displaying me the message your current directory files are and under that is actually displaying me this all files so this is how you can actually use a variable uh, inside your bash scripting So guys, there are two ways to perform or uh, use comments in bash scripting. The one you can use with, use with rem rem command and after that you can type anything. So it will consider that as a comment and it will not display that particular string or message on the console. You can use help and rem. So it is nothing but a remark. Okay. And this is how you should use this rem and then use your comment. So in scripting, uh, let me take one example so on the top i'm just typing echo off and then i'm using this rem command rem this is echo command okay and below that i'm just typing echo hello world and if i run this file then you can see that it's actually displaying me this echo output that is nothing but an hello world so it's actually ignoring this particular uh, statement or this particular command okay so this is how you can use a uh, rem command to perform or to use some kind of command in your bash scripting there is one more way that you can use this double colon sign and whatever is written after this double colon sign that will consider as a comment so it will not execute that so if i save this file and if i run this file once again then you can see it's only displaying me the hello world it's actually ignoring this particular line number three so this is how you can use uh, comments in bash scripting you can either use this double colon or you can use this rem rem command So in this video, we are going to see about the environment variable uh, in batch scripts and to display the environment variable, uh, you can use set and then press enter and then it will display you all the environment variables which is available for your operating system. Okay. So there are predefined variable available and these are the values. So in this case, uh, this is the variable name and this is the value of the variable. So you can use this environment variable in your scripting language. So let's take an example that you want to display the C program files path. Okay. So rather than uh, mentioning that path or creating a new variable, you can actually use this particular variable, which is nothing but an environment variable. So to do that, you can actually use uh, echo and then uh, dollar and then this particular variable name 
so for an example I'm just taking this one program files then it will display that variable name okay that variable value so how we can use that in a scripting so let's take an example first thing that we need to do is echo off and then suppose I want to right now I I am in C batch script uh, directory and I want to go to a different directory and then I want to list out the available files into that directory so let's take an example that I want to switch back to C windows okay so I can use this system root variable which is predefined so I'm not going to uh, mention this particular path instead of that I will use this variable so let's take an example that I want to go switch back to the main directory so I can directly use over here CD and then percent sign then system root and then close percent sign okay so let me go ahead and save this and right now you can see I am in C batch script and if I run this file then you can see that I switch back to windows so I change my directory from this to C windows and if you want to list out all the available files then you can use dir over here okay and if I save this let me switch back to my old directory and if I run this file then you can see it's actually displaying me all the available folders and files in C windows directory and that is nothing but a system root environment variable directory okay so let's take one more example so in this case let's take an example of this CMD path okay so I want to just display the cmd.exe path on the screen so what I can do here is I will write one message uh, below is the cmd path okay and then if I use percent and uh, between two percent sign if I use this particular variable let me save this I'm going back to my batch script folder and let me run this then you can actually see that it's displaying this message below is the CMD path and after that it's actually executed that cmd.exe so you can see this is a complete new console starting so here it's actually executed that cmd.exe but I don't want to do that I don't want to execute that uh, particular value which is stored inside this com spec variable instead of that I just want to display that on the console so before this I will use echo okay and if I run this now then you can see below is the cmd path and it's showing me the cmd.exe path so it's not executing that as a command it just displaying me that on the console so this is how you can actually use the environment variable in uh, bash scripting go ahead and explore the remaining environment variable and you will see that you will mostly use those variable uh, in bash scripting hey guys in this video we are going to see about uh, string concatenation and string concatenation is nothing but uh, adding two string together and string is nothing but our data type so let me create two string over here so I'm just defined one variable set and statement this is my uh, variable name equal to and I'm just writing statement or kind of string over here so this is statement or uh, this is first statement okay now I'm defining another variable with different string and this is statement 2 which is equal to 
and let me create this statement one okay this is second statement okay now let me save this file and run this on the console so this two command has successfully run and if I use set then you will see that particular variable over here statement one and this is the value this is first statement statement two this is another variable and this is the value this is second statement so now let's concatenate or add this two string together to do that I will create one more variable called result okay and here I will define the first string that is statement one and we need to define that in percent sign between this two percent sign and after that I'm just giving space and giving another percent sign and using the statement to variable okay now I will call this using echo echo percent and then I'm using result and then percent sign and I don't want to display all this commandlet or command on the console so I'm using on the top echo off so let me save this and I am running this once again and you can see that it's displaying me this is first statement and this is second statement so this is how actually you can uh, add this two string together and you can actually store that in variable and then you can call that variable using echo or if you don't want you can directly display that particular variable so here if you don't want this you can actually use echo over here so I'm just using echo and this two variable if I save this and it will give me the exact same output so just note that it's it's a uh, one space over here because I have provided space with between these two uh, percent sign if I remove that space and if I save this running this again then you can see there is no space between first and second statement okay so you have to make sure that use that uh, space carefully in your scripting and you can do something like this or you can actually directly write that uh, any kind of string over here so I'm just using uh, another string called this is third statement okay so here I'm just echoing or I, here I'm just using echo and then statement one and I'm just declaring or just calling that a uh, variable inside this percent sign and then I'm declaring the actual string okay so I'm not providing a variable over here and if I do that then it will show me this exact result so it's showing me this is first statement which is the value of statement one variable and then our provided string so this is how you can use string concatenation in your batch scripting Hey guys, in this video we'll see how we can create a mathematical expression in batch scripting. So let me create one script file. So I'm just using at echo off on the top and then I will declare one variable. So let's take that I'm just declaring variable called sum and which is equal to uh, 10 plus 10. Okay and then I'm calling that variable using echo uh, the sum is and I'm using percent sign variable name that is sum then again percent sign let me save this file and if I run that file over here then it's actually displaying me that number as a string because it should display me here the value 20 but it's actually displaying me uh, 
this particular 10 plus 10 as a string so what I can do here is let me use set just use set command after that use slash and question mark and press enter you will actually see that it's actually displaying you the detail of that particular command their uh, parameters and everything you will get uh, by using this slash question mark command okay so here you can actually see that uh, this is nothing but an expression so after said it's using slash a and this is nothing but a switch to specif specify that the string to the right of the equal sign is a numeric expression that is evaluated so right of the equal sign so no, this is nothing but this 10 plus 10 or you can see these are the operators so you have grouping arithmetic logical bitwise many operators are there so you can use that over here so be, what we can do over here is before this variable or after the set I will use slash a and then I'm defining that variable some variable equal to and after that you can actually use your mathematical expression so I'm just using plus sign so I want to add this two numbers and then I will use this echo command to display that particular result so let me go ahead and save this and I am executing that again and here you can see it's actually displaying me this uh, result 10 plus 10 is equal to 20 so you can do arithmetic operation by using slash a uh, expression okay so here you can use 10 plus 10 or uh, you can just use 10 into 10 and it will display the 100 so all the uh, arithmetic operators that is available you can just go ahead and see that over here you can use those arithmetic operator go ahead and explore that uh, so you can use those operators that expression over here use slash a expression after set then define your variable and then you can call that variable in echo command to display your result or in your scripting you can actually pass that variable to process further so this is how you can actually use uh, mathematical expression in batch scripting hey guys in this video we are going to see how we can take the input from the end user in our batch scripting okay so let me start writing the code so I'm just using echo off on the top and then I'm just displaying message on the screen so user can enter some particular kind of data or input so I'm just displaying displaying matches that uh, enter your name okay and after that I want to store that particular data or an input in a in a particular variable okay so here I'm just using set then slash p and then i'm declaring that variable so here i'm just using name variable and i'm just giving equal to sign okay i'm not writing anything after equal to so it will give that me as a prompt uh, why we are using slash p so on console if you type set then slash question mark then you will see here set hyphen p then define variable and this is use equal to sign and this is nothing but our prompt string so user can enter that particular input and that input will store in name variable okay so let me clear this and once we have that input then i need to display that so i'm using uh, echo command again and i'm just saying uh, your name is and then i'm using that particular variable in percent sign name so let me save this and if I run that file then it's actually executing this line number 4 enter your name and then it's actually waiting for end user to uh, enter some kind of input so this is this blinking prompt is nothing but our line number 5 okay 
so once you enter some kind of input over here it will store that in name variable so i'm just using my name rahul and then i'm using enter and it's just displaying that your name is rahul okay so uh, to give a prompt you can use this slash p and then use kind some kind of variable and once user that enter that particular input it will store that in variable and then you can use that variable in your further scripting and also let's take an example of uh, some arithmetic operator of adding some number so here in echo uh, what i can do is i'm just using a string called enter first number okay and then i would i want to store that number in variable so i'm just declaring a variable called number 1 this is nothing but my first variable in any in the next line i'm just using echo enter second number and then again i'm using set slash p and then number 2 equal to so user will uh, it will ask for user to uh, Uh, sorry this should be a set not set okay set so in this case uh, it will ask user to enter second number and once user enter second number it will store into number 2 variable and then i want to display that uh, using over here in echo but before that i need to do uh, some arithmetic operations uh, over there so for that i'm declaring one more variable using slash a okay and then i'm just using variable called result equal to and then i want to do a uh, addition of that two numbers so i'm using number 1 in this percent then plus sign and then again in percent number 2 okay so here in this case on line number 10 what it, it will do it will create this result uh, variable and we are using this arithmetic uh, of the expression slash a so it will add this first number and this second number and it will store that in result variable and then we can call that result variable over here so we are using echo and i'm just writing addition and then i want to display that so in percent i'm using result okay so let me save this and if i run that file again then it will ask me the first number i'm using 12 then it will ask me for the second number i am using number 5 and if i press enter it just giving me the addition is 17 okay so this is how you can use uh, a number and then perform some kind of uh, arithmetic operation so just make sure that you should use this uh, slash a so if, if you don't use that slash a okay if you save that and if i run this again i'm just using 10 and then 10 again then it's actually displaying me that 10 plus 10 so it's actually displaying me this as a string okay so if you want to do some kind of arithmetic operation you are providing some numbers then make sure that you should use slash a uh, parameter before this variable so this is how you can use a prompt so if you want to display a prompt to the end user use slash p and then use your variable equal to so it will display that prompt and user can enter any kind of input and then you can store that input into this variable and you can process further so in this video we are going to see about command arguments so for example if i am using echo command and after that suppose i am writing some message in this case let's take an example your name so it's actually displaying me that message your name so your name is nothing but an argument to this particular command okay let me take one more example so right now i am in c batch script folder okay and i want to display all the uh, files and folder which is available in c windows i don't want uh, this particular don't want a list of files and folder in this particular directory i want a list of files and folder in c windows directory so in that case what i can do over here is i will write dir command and after that i will provide that particular 
folder path so I'm just using C slash and then Windows and if I press enter then it's actually displaying me the directories folders and file which is which are available in this particular directory C Windows so in this case C Windows is nothing but an argument to dir command let me take one more example so if i use volume vol command so it's actually right now i am in c drive my current working directory is c so it is actually displaying me the volume drive letter c windows and then it's actually displaying me the serial number of that particular volume so right now i am in c drive but i want to display the serial number of d drive volume so what i can do over here is i will use vol command and after that i will pass an argument so i'm just using d colon and if i press enter then it's actually displaying me the serial number of d drive so argument is nothing but a kind of input or data that you are passing after this particular command date okay so this is called an argument so in this case uh, d colon is argument and this is our command okay so argument is nothing but a particular input or a data that you are passing after a particular command and it that command will accept that argument and it will display some kind of info information based on the argument okay so this is how you can use argument in bash scripting hey guys in this video we are going to see about the functions so let me start with a simple function so i'm just using a form here and i'm just defining a function so you can use a label and here how you can define it just use colon and then you can call that function name so i'm just using function one this is the name of my function and i just want to display or just print some kind of string so i'm just displaying this is first function okay and if i save this let me run it and it's actually displaying that this is first function this is the same way you can actually use uh, multiple function you can write multiple functions so i'm just using function 2 and then i'm using echo and then this is second function okay so if i save this and run it will display me this is first function and this is second function so there is one more command that you can use over here is if you want to call a particular function from a different line so right now on right now i'm on line number nine and from that i'm using call and then i'm using colon and i'm just writing the name of the function so function one okay now you will see one problem over here what it will happen if you run the script first it will display this message it will execute this function then it will display this message and then it will jump back here you are saying that call function one so it will jump back from line number nine to line number three and then it will display this message again and then it will come to line number five and thing is there then it will come to line number six it's another function and it will display this message again and once it is done it will come on line number eight nothing is there again it will come on line number nine and here you are calling that function again so it will go in a loop state so let me save this and if i run function dot back then you can see it's actually going into a loop state and after some time you will get this message batch recursion exits stack limit okay so this is what it happens so here to avoid this kind of confusion or this kind of uh, uh, looping you can actually use go to uh, command here or you can use go to or you can also use exit so we'll see that in next video how we can use go to or an exit
Hey guys, in this video we are going to see about the go to and exit command and how we can use that in a function to avoid this unnecessary loop. So let me copy this code from the previous example. And here we have this two function and let me go ahead and create one more function to give you a better understanding. So this is using equal. This is third function. Okay. So we have these three functions over here and if I execute this, it's displaying, it's displaying those three functions on the screen, okay? But on top of this, what I'm using, I'm using go to command over here and I want to redirect it to function three, okay? So first, in this case, what it will do, it will execute this function, so first it will display this is third function and it will stop over there <laughs> because I am not writing anything in a function 3 we jump back to function 1 or 2 okay so if I use this it's only displaying me the message which is written in function 3 so here I will say that okay after executing function 3 let me also create indentation to give a better understanding okay once you're done with this then call function one okay if i do this what will happen first it will go to the function three it will display this message then it will call function one so it will jump back over here it will display this message this is function one then it will jump back over here this will display this message this is function two then again it will go to function three and it will display this is function three and it will uh, call this function one on next line and it will go in a in a continuous loop so if i do this you can see it's going into a continuous never ending loop so what we can do here is once you have this uh, function one you are calling this from function three then it will display this message then it will jump back to here and here i want to stop this script i don't want to go further so what I can do is I can write once you're done with displaying this message type go to and uof uof is nothing but end of file okay if I save this file I will clear this and if I run this again then you can see this is third function is displaying this function first then it will jump back to function one it will display this line this is function one then it will jump back to function two this is function 2 and it's closing that over here so it's going to the end of file and it's closing that particular back file this is how you can actually use go to uh, if you want to close that into functions after executing you can also use exit here but the problem of exit that you, you you need to use a particular parameter after exit so if you use just exit what will happen it will actually close your cmd.exe so this is your cmd.exe so it will close that file okay so let me save this and if i run this file you can see the file is closed but it's actually running that command and after executing that command it's actually closing that particular file so to, to understand this I'm just let me give a timeout over here of 15 seconds. Okay, let me jump back to folder. Then I'm running that file again, and here you can see it's actually displaying that function message. Okay, it's just function third, first, and second, and then it will go to this timeout. So it's counting the 15 seconds, and after that it will exit this particular cmd.exe okay so to avoid that uh, if you don't want to exit your cmd uh, then what you can do here is okay so there is a command uh, parameter called use help exit this is a parameter called uh, slash b so this is actually specify to exit the current batch script instead of cmd.exe. So I don't want to close the cmd.exe. Instead of that, I just want to close 
this particular batch file, this particular batch script. So let me switch back to my directory. Okay, and here what I will do is after exit I can use slash b and then we need to use this exit code so our exit code is nothing but zero okay so I'm just removing that timeout and if I run that file again then you can see it's displaying that uh, function function third then first function then second function and it's actually exited that batch script okay so if you want to exit only the batch script you don't want to exit, exit the cmd.exe you can use this exit then slash b parameter with zero exit code so this is how you can actually use uh, this go to and exit uh, if you want to avoid this continuous loop in your function Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see about how we can use function argument in bash scripting. Uh, so let me create two function over here. Just using echo op. Then I'm using a uh, main function and just using a keyword main. Here I want to display uh, the numbers that user is going to enter. Okay. So I'm just uh, using echo and uh, your numbers uh, or your number is and I'm just using okay I will tell you how we can use that particular uh, argument over here first before that let's create another uh, function called user input here I want to take input from the end user so I'm using set I will define that variable as a p so I will give that uh, variable as a prop is defining variable as a number one and displaying a message called enter number okay then I'm just giving a space so it will prompt user uh, with this particular message that enter number and once user enter a number it will store that in number one variable and now we want to pass this variable in this main function so it will display that particular number and what I'm going to do here is we'll use call command then calling this main function and then uh, I need to pass that particular number so user will actually enter the number but it will pass that as a string so I'm just using uh, percentage and number one then again percent sign okay and here if I want to dis display this particular number one variable over here then I need to use percent then tilde and number one and after executing the main function I want to stop that over there so I'm just using go to then end of file and on top I want to I don't want to call main function at the first I want to call this user input function first and then it will it should switch back to main function so here I am again using go to and just using a function name user input let me save this and if I run this argument so it's actually asking for enter number so I'm just entering number called 50 if I press enter then it's actually displaying me your number is 50 so first what will happen on line number three it will actually jump to user input then it will display this message enter number once I enter the number 50 it will store that particular data in number one variable then I am passing that number one variable as an argument over here so I am calling that function using call then call on main function and after that I am choosing this number one as an argument so it will pass that number one as a string not as a number and then it will replace that by till day one uh, percent till day one okay so here let me comment this and suppose in this case I'm just using a number directly over here number 60 okay so if I run this file then it will show you your number is 60 what if you want to uh, pass two argument 
then here you can actually pass two arguments so i'm just using and and then again you can use percent sign tilde and number two and over here when you are calling that function pass the first argument that is number 60 again give a space and pass the second argument so here i'm just using 90 okay and if i run this again then you can say your number is 60 and 90 so here actually this 60 argument is replaced or is uh, used by this percent tilde 1 and if i use 90 over here then it's actually used by this tilde 2 what if you are not providing any argument over here so if i use and and then again dollar tilde number 3 but we are not providing any third value we have only provided this to this two value so in this case if we run that file again then you will get empty uh, space over here so nothing is there it will only display this particular message and it will fill till 1 with number 60 and till 2 with number 90 but till 3 there is no argument provided in this function so it will not display anything it's just an empty okay so this is how you can actually use or how you can actually pass the argument uh, suppose in this case uh, you are not hard coding any argument you are taking that from the end user so you can do something like this let me comment it out and here you can use number one enter first number and then you can use set slash p number two equal to enter second number you can do something like this okay and then you can call that into main function so if you want to call it you can use person sign then number one and again in two percent sign number two this is how you can pass that I, I, I I'm not passing third number so I will just use this two number one and number two so if I save this let me run this again it will ask for the first number I'm using number 10 then second number 20 and it's displaying your number is 10 and 20 so this is how you can actually use uh, argument to pass to particular function okay and uh, then you can use this uh, percent tilde 1 and tilde 2 uh, sign so this is nothing but your uh, argument position how you are passing that argu argument into the function so it will take that value and it will display that on your screen so the same way you can actually use this for scripting hey guys in this video we are going to see how we can define a local scope in our batch scripting so let me go ahead and write uh, one function so on top i'm just using echo off then i am just uh, calling one function called display name okay and here what i want to do is uh, i'm just using set and then slash p to give a prompt to end user and i'm using name variable and here i'm just writing a message called enter your name and i'm just giving two spaces so it will display this message enter your name on the screen and once user enter the name it will display that on the screen so for that i'm just using echo command and writing your name is and then in percent sign i'm using that variable called name okay and after that i'm just using go to end of file and before that function i'm just calling that function so i'm just using go to and display name okay let me save this and if i run that script over here then you can see it's asking me or just giving me prompt to enter the name so i'm just entering a name called rahul and then in displaying that name okay and we and the script is executed and now suppose if i use set and enter then you can see over here is actually storing that particular variable and its value 
so it's actually storing that variable and it's actually you can say it's declaring that as a global variable and that will be available in this particular cmd.exe so until and unless we are not closing this cmd.exe it will be there but we don't want that in actual scripting it is not recommend to declare each and every variable as a global global scope or uh, you should not declare all the variable globally you should use all the variable as a local variable and if it is required then you have to use that as a global variable so to do that we are going to use a uh, set local and end local command over here so let me close this cmd and i am opening this once again let me switch back to my folder okay and here what i'm going to do is after this particular function name i'm just using set local and after this echo command i'm using end local okay now let me save this and i'm running this once again and it's asking for the name i'm entering my name rahul and it's just displaying that name and if i type set then you can see right now it's not storing any variable called name okay so on line number six we have declared that set local or line number nine we have declared end local so whatever written in between these two lines it's actually declaring that as a local variable or it will be there for this particular bat script once that script is end it will remove that a uh, variable so it will not store that variable as a global variable for this cmd.exe but you need to make sure that uh, whatever the variable that you want to declare as a local variable you should declare between this set local and end local commands so if you write something after end local then it will store as a global variable so for example let me also take uh, also declare one more variable i'm just declaring number and then equal to enter number okay and then i'm just using echo command your number is and in percentage i'm just displaying that number okay so let me save this file and let me run this bat file again so right now it's asking me for the name i'm declaring i'm just entering name rahul then it's uh, asking for the number i'm just entering number two okay it's just display that your number is two now if i use set command and if i just scroll up then you can see it's actually storing that number variable uh, as a global variable but you can see that it's not storing name variable because we have written this name variable or we have declared this name variable inside set local and end local and whatever is there outside these two uh, set local and end local command it's actually declaring that as a global variable so you need to make sure that uh, how to use this particular commandlet uh, is it is it is recommend that if you are writing a small script and it is not required to store any variable globally for this particular cmd.exe session just use set uh, local on your top and end local at the bottom so whatever you are writing in between that you are declaring or defining a function or variable it will be only uh, consider that as a local variable or a local scope it will not define that as a, as a global scope okay so this is how you can use a uh, local scope in your bash scripting in this video we are going to see about how we can define if statement in bash scripting defining if statement in bash scripting is very easy first we have to declare this keyword called if after that just define your condition 
and if that condition is true then it will execute a next statements so let me create one script i'm just using echo off and then i'm just using let me create one main function and what i'm going to do is let me take one number from the end user okay so i'm just or, or i'm just defining a number a simple number so i'm just using a slash a to define integer and then i'm just using number equal to one okay and now i want to define if statement so i'm just using if and then we have to define the condition so if i'm just using percent sign inside that i'm declaring variable called number if this particular number is equal to one then execute some uh, line of code or I'm, I'm just using just echo command so how we can define or a way to get that uh, comparison operator so to find out the comparison operator for if statement you can just use help and if on your console and here you will get all those comparison operators so equ is for equal uh, then you have not equal less than less than equal to greater than and greater than equal to so you can use this all keywords to define uh, the comparison operator in if statement so let me go ahead and define what i want to do here here is just use equal to equ okay then i am defining number one so if this condition is true then i will write some code in this parenthesis so i'm just using echo and i'm just displaying message called this is if statement okay and on top i'm just using go to command go to main function and after this go to end of file let me save this and let me run this file then you can see it's actually displaying this message this is if statement because we are uh, first uh, declaring or defining a function over here then we are declaring a variable this is nothing but our integer variable number and we have using number one and then we are using if statement then number one variable have this uh, number one value and number one is equal to number one then display this particular thing okay so if i if i use a different value over here okay and if i run this again then it's not showing any message because the variable contain number one and we are just comparing that with the three so this condition is false so if this condition is false that it will not execute this statement if this condition is true then it will execute the statement or command okay so let's take an example that uh, in program what i wanted to do is i'm just declaring or i'm just giving this uh, path uh, on a prompt console and once it is detect this path then it will display me all the files and folders contained in this particular path so for that uh, i'm just defining a variable with the prompt and i'm just using variable called path equal to enter path and just giving two spaces and then if in percent sign path is equal to this is just for your understanding equal to this particular path then what i wanted to do is first go to that path so i'm just using cd then percentage uh, and then using that variable called path and then just display all the uh, files and folders available so i'm just using dir command okay so let me save this and let me copy this path 
I'm running that script again and I mean it's giving me a prompt and I'm just using I'm just giving this path and if I press enter then it's actually going to that path using cd command and then it's displaying all the directory or all the files and folder which is available on that path so this is how you can use the if statement first you have to write this particular keyword then provide your condition over here and if this condition is true then in parenthesis you can actually write some code so that can be your command or that can be uh, your normal uh, echo statement anything that you can write it will execute that set of statement or set of commands so this is how you can use if statement in batch scripting so in previous video we saw that if you run this particular if statement and provide this uh, path c temp rahul then it will display all the available files and folder in that particular path but what if you if you enter some uh, different path so in this case let me run this if statement again and here i am not uh, entering this actual path which i have hard coded in the in the script so instead of that i am just using c temp okay and if i use that the program is just ex exiting it, it's not doing anything because you can clearly see that the condition is not true over here so it not executing this file and program is actually going to the end of file so in this case we will add else statement after after this if statement so let me go to this else statement dot back and here what i can do over here is uh, after this parenthesis i am just using else okay and then i am using so you can actually write some kind of code or uh, commands over here if you want to perform some kind of task if this particular if condition is not true but in this case i don't want to i'm not uh, just using any command instead of that i'm just giving you a message that uh, you have entered wrong path okay let me save this file and now I'm running this else statement dot bat and here I'm not uh, entering the actual path the hard coded path instead of that I'm just using c slash temp and it's actually giving me message that you have entered a wrong path okay so here you need to uh, make sure that uh, else statement is not necessary every time you have to write else statement when you have to say something or you want to declare something statement or any kind of uh, commands if this particular if, if statement condition is not true so when this else statement will execute if this particular if statement condition is not true then only this else statement will execute okay so if you provide a correct path over here so let me run this else statement again and i'm just using a correct path which i hard coded c temp rahul then it's only executing this if statement it just going to this particular path using cd and then it displaying all files and folder uh, using dir command so if this condition is true it will only execute if statement whatever return inside that if the condition is false if this particular condition is false then only it will jump to the else statement so you have to make sure that you have to write else statement only if you want to say something if your condition is false So in this video we will see how we can define for loop in bash scripting. So let me go ahead and write echo off then I am just using set local and end local and between this I am just uh, defining for loop. So here you can actually see that it is giving me predefined block content. So on console you can go ahead and type help and then for 
and it's actually giving you all the syntax and the, their details available for the for loop and here you can see to use the for command in batch program specify double percent and then variable instead of percent variable and the variable names are case sensitive so here it's actually defining double percent i is nothing but it's actually defining i as a variable and to defining that it's actually using double percent sign and then it's using in and in this case we have to use some set so i'm just using one two three four and five okay and then it's actually using do keyword and whatever is uh rater inside this parenthesis uh it will execute that so i'm just using echo and then i am calling that particular variable so again i need to use double percent sign and the variable name that is nothing but i so i is not mandatory you can go with any variable name uh specify over there you can go with g t or you can just type any name that is fine so first it will go and replace this number one over here and then it will display number one then it will display two three four five so let me save this and me clear this and i'm executing this file and you can see it's actually displaying with this all uh, one two three four five number so this is how you can actually use for loop so inside that uh, it's displaying this number but let's take an example that you are right now in c batch script folder and you want to create five folder and it it should be start with folder one two three four five so here you can just use mkdir to create that folder or directory uh, and then the name of the directory so i'm just using folder okay and then hyphen and then double percent and i so i don't want this echo over here so it will take number one then it will uh, use this folder hyphen number one and it will create folder hyphen one folder then it will use number two and then it will create folder hyphen two and it will go on so let me save this and if i run this program over here it's executed and if i go back to see bash script that you can actually see that it's actually created this five folder with number one two three four five so this is how you can actually use for loop uh, just make sure that if you are defining the variable use double percent sign and variable are the case sensitive then define your set and then in do uh, statement you can actually use uh, any commands or any particular statement that that you want to perform some kind of action over there so this is how you can actually use for loop in batch scripting Uh, in this video we'll see how we can uh, use for loop to print some certain range of numbers so let me start with writing scripts i'm just using echo off then i'm using set local and end local and now i'm defining uh, for loop over here so i'm just using uh, i as an as a variable here and then there is one more form or you can say parameter that we can use uh, for for loop so to populate the detail of for loop you can just use help and then for and here you can see there are various different type of forms are available that we you can use with for loop so there are slash d slash r is there slash l is there for slash l so we'll take the example of this particular form or you can say parameter of slash l and then uh, we are defining the variable then in keyword and in actual set uh, we are defining uh, a particular range so we have to define a number to start with then we will define the uh, number to step and then we will define the number to end in a particular loop so let's take an example of this so after for i'm just using slash l over here and in set 
I want to start with zero and then I want to go with uh, one step one by one and then I want to end this with number 20 okay and what I wanted to do with this particular set that we can define in this do uh, keyword in this two parentheses so I'm just using I just want to print that so I'm just using echo uh, double percent sign and then I to display that particular number on this on the console so let me save this file and let me run this file and here you can see it's actually started with 0 and in with 20 so it's actually displaying all the number from 0 to 20 so this is your start number and this is your end number and this is the actual step that you can define so here rather than uh, going with one you can actually define two also so if you save that and uh, run then it will show you 0 2 4 6 and it will go till 20 so this is how you can use uh, L form in for loop so there are various forms uh, or parameters are available just use help and for command to list out all the available parameters and forms and you can just uh, play around with that in this video we are going to see how we can use error level command in our batch scripting so i'm on the console and let's see that uh, i'm just executing one command called dir directory and this command executed successfully okay and after that if i use percent sign and error level and then again percent sign then it's giving me a number called zero okay just forget about this whole string it's giving me output uh, in a zero number so zero means the previous command which you have executed uh, it's it's work successfully okay it's executed successfully it's not giving any error so let's take an example that uh, for example you want to uh, switch to some directory and i'm just giving some random path over here which is not exists and it's just giving the system cannot find the path specified it means that this particular command uh, did not run successfully or it's it's not executed successfully okay so in this case if i use error level in double percent sign this misspell this spelling yeah so it's just giving me some random number 9009 or if i'm just using some kind of command over here this random command which is not exist and if i use error level again then it's giving me some random number so different type of error have a different number in bash scripting but you don't need to recognize or you don't need to uh, understand all kind of error error numbers in this case what you need to just focus on if you are running some command and after that if you are just taking an output of error level you just make sure that you are getting zero number so zero number means the previous command is executed successfully without any error and if you are not getting zero number it means that the previous command which you have entered is not executed successfully there was issue with that command or some some issue with the output something like that so that command is actually failed okay so we'll take an example that how you can actually use error level in your actual batch scripting so i'm just giving you a normal or simple example with if statement you can actually use error level in a different kind of uh, statement also even you can use that in loop also so let me go ahead and write echo off and then uh, what i am trying to do here is i am just giving a prompt to end user to enter a specific path and then my script will check whether that path is available or not and if it is not available then it should give me an error so here i am just uh, using slash p to give a prompt and using a variable called folder path equal to enter folder path okay 
I'm just giving two extra spaces. Then I want to change that uh, change directory to that particular folder path. So I'm just using CD and in double percent sign I am just using that variable called folder path and then I am using if statement and here I just want to use error level okay so if error level is equal to zero it means that uh, that folder uh, path is correct okay so i'm just giving one echo message here you have entered correct path okay and if it is not equal to zero then uh, it should give error message or it should give you uh, echo message so that message is echo you have entered wrong path okay so here uh, first script will ask user to enter folder path so you after user is entering folder path it will store that folder path in folder path variable then it will try to change the directory to that target folder path and if it is failed then it will log that particular error in error level command so we are just using if statement here to identify whether error level is equal to zero or not so i'm just focusing here that our error level should be a zero so if it is a zero then it means that our previous command which is nothing but line number four cd is executed successfully so our error level is not zero it means that this command is failed and it actually mean that the actual folder part which is provided by user is not the valid one so let me save this and i'm calling that over here so it's asking enter folder path and i'm just giving c slash temp and it's giving you a message that you have entered the correct path okay because this is the this is the folder is available in my uh, c directory so let me switch back to my bash script folder and i'm running this command uh, this file once again and now i'm just providing a wrong path so i'm just using c tem and some random path which is actually does not exist and here you can say it's giving me error that you have entered a wrong path so if the error level is not equal to zero it means that our uh, previous command which is nothing but line number four are not executed perfectly or successfully there is some error in that command and that's why it's jumped to the else statement and it's executed this particular statement you have entered you have entered the wrong path so this is how you can actually use error level this is just a simple example uh, just go ahead and explore that error level in different kind of method and forms even you can use that in a loop and check how you can use this error level to make your bash scripting more powerful Hey guys, in this video, we are going to see how we can uh, create .txt file and how we can actually export a particular command output to a .txt file. So we can use this kind of approach uh, for a logging uh, for our bash script. So let me take an example that I'm just running this dir command in my C batch script folder and it's generating some kind of output. But right now I want to save this output in txt file. So what I can do that uh, after a particular command I can use this greater than sign and then I can write the file name uh, the file name where uh, I want to save this particular output. So in this case I am just using file 1.txt and I am just pressing enter and now if I just go to this particular folder and it's actually created this file 1.txt so if that particular file is not available it will create that new file and it will save 
all these dir command output into this particular file so you can see it is saved in file onetxt so let's take an example that you are writing a very big script and you want to take each and every output and you want to store that in a txt file format so in this case let's take an example that i am also uh, running one more command vol and i want to store that output in the same file i am not generating another file i want to store the output in the same file so i'm just using vol then uh, greater than sign file one dot txt and if i open that file again then you can see that it's actually storing the vol command output it's actually replacing the existing uh, data with the new data so i don't want to do that i want to append all the data one by one so uh, if i'm creating a script then it should uh, execute a first command it will store that in a txt file then it should execute second command you store that in the same file and it should append that one by one uh, into the next line so to perform this kind of operation let me delete this so what i can do here is uh, i'm just using dir then i'm using double uh, greater than sign and then i'm using file one dot txt And I'm just pressing enter. And if I open this file, it's just storing dir uh, output. And then I'm using vol command. And then I'm using double greater than sign. And I'm using the same file name, file one dot txt. Okay. And now if I open this file once again, then you can see it's actually storing this. This is the dir command output. And this is the volume command output. So you can actually use this uh, double greater than sign to append your output one by one into your same txt file. So you no need to create a different txt file for each and every command. You can use multiple command, use double greater than sign and it will store all that output in a single file.